If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys, and today I'm going over the best players at each position on offense. Usually I do it as one whole, offense and defense combined, but that tends to be a little bit rushed because of course if I spent time talking about each position in depth, I'd be there for about 30 minutes. If I do partially in depth, 20 minutes, and where I give you guys that like bare minimum little quick overview of players, some more or less, it ends up being around 10, but I feel like I don't get to say as much as I want to. So for today's video, I'm just going to do offense today. And then probably tomorrow another day I'll do defense. And if I think that format works better, I'll start doing it that way. Or otherwise, I will go back to doing it as a whole. But let me know down below what you guys do prefer now. For today's Poodle Squad shout out is going to go to Cali Country. Shout out to you, man, for being part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support in each and every video. If you guys want your own chance to shout it out, all you got to do, like the video, turn on the noti bell, and comment down below Poodle Squad. And of course, be subscribed as well, which I think you have to be anyway, so turn the noti bell on. So it works out. Now let's get into this, guys. And of course, as we do get into this, if you see some of the players you like and they're too expensive, head over to my reserve down below in the description, guys. Coins, players, training, everything else on that you can get discounted. If you use code Poodle, you get an additional 15% off your order. Now let's start from the top at quarterback. Now quarterback, it's pretty much a, it's pretty much a one-man show right now, and it's pretty obvious who you got to go now. Again, it depends on your play style, of course. But right now, Michael Vick to me is just the best quarterback in the game. Now, I'll give you guys an honorable mention, but for me, why is it Mike Vick? Now, it's not just because of speed. He gets he gets the throw power, which most quarterbacks do not get a throw power as high as him, even some of the best, like Dan Marino, like um, Pat Mahomes. I guess if you power Dan Marino up, he will get to a 92, which is one shorter, but Dan Marino doesn't get the 91 speed with the throw power. Like, Mike Vick can quite literally throw the hardest, well, not out of every card, I'm pretty sure, but he can throw the hardest out of all the top like three or four QBs while also being able to take off at any moment so the dangerous part is you have to play your cornerbacks back you have to be playing fast and quick to try to stay up and be in tight windows all day at the same time while doing all of that Mike Vick you can just press Artini's off it is just so it just throws off a whole defensive coordinator's game plan when you see you're going up against Vic. And the accuracy gets I mean, the deep accuracy is great. The play action, the throw on the run. Even the throw under pressure is not horrible. What's really going to hurt you is the short medium. More so the medium, in my opinion. Because the short is what it is. The medium actually is going to hurt you at times. But to be honest, I'll take a few ducks here and there. If it means being able to just complete. And that's the other thing. It's a lot easier to play offense or you're running back and everything else. People are worrying about spying. Or they're worrying about doing contains. And all that other stuff. Which makes it a lot easier for everyone else. But definitely Vic is going to be my quarterback. Honorable mention, of course, the Lamar Jackson powered up still isn't horrible. If you're a pocket passer, Aaron Rodgers is great. But for me, it's going to be Vic. Now, of course, the number one running back is still Barry Sanders. I'm not going to go into depth on him because you guys already know what he is. I'm going to go on the other running backs that I choose if you can't afford him. Barry Sanders, best running back in the game. Blows away everyone still. I think, honestly, I should have never switched from Bo Jackson. Should have stayed with Barry. Lost a lot of coins doing so. Barry definitely is the best. That acceleration is just different. And that change of direction for this point of the game. Now, second one, guys, I really, really, really don't like Bo Jackson. I don't know. I don't think he plays great. I really don't think he plays great at all. I don't know if it has something to do with his size, his weight. Like, he's just too big. and he, He's just easy to tackle this year. With A being back, the A button tackling, a lot of glitchy magnet tackles. Bo Jackson just needs so many magnet tackles. He doesn't really truck me. It's not like older man's where you can truck people over and keep running. Like, yeah, he gained some extra yards, but for the most part, I'd rather juke or, or you know, stop and go someone, which is like the meta, uh, versus trying to truck someone over. Because when I stop and go someone or just juke around them and change the direction, I go further. So for me, I'm going for my guy that if you can't afford Barry, definitely go Reggie Bush. Reggie Bush is a goon. He has crazy, he speeds crazy if you power him up, of course. He has the break tackle threshold of 90 once you power him up. He can catch, kind of, he's like a McCaffrey. But he also has great change of direction, great excel. Of course, if he's not powered up, he's still great. But if you can afford that power up, I definitely think he's like a baby Barry Sanders. Now we skip him fullback. Fullback, again, it comes down to what you need. If you want just a second running back to catch, if you want a blocker, you got to pick what you need there. Now, wide receiver. Now, wide receiver is interesting. It comes down to preference here. So, for me, my top guy is Tyrone Calico. And that's just because of the combination of things you get here. You get the speed, the route running, the catching, the height, and the weight. He's pretty much Tyree Kill. He's like a Tyree Kill, Vincent Jackson combo. Like, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. Like, he's a 6'4, he's 91 speed. Of course, if you could power him up, he has 92 speed while being 6'4, 
with 90 catch and traffic, with 90 spec catch, with 92 short route running, with an 89 medium route running. The card's insane. The card's insane. Best all round receiver. Now, if you want a pure route runner that can destroy the meta right now, Amari Cooper's your guy. If you're looking for an all around monster, Tyron Calico's your guy. And if you're looking for a more budgety route runner receiver or a surefire catch, you can go Vincent Jackson or Reggie, Reggie Wayne, of course. Now, for me, like I said, I'm, I'm going Tyrone, and then I'm probably going. If you can't get Tyrone Calico, then you can always just go like Vincent Jackson, Reggie Wayne, and then pick up Tyree Kill as well. But Tyrone, he can do everything. So just definitely keep that in mind. Now, at tight end, now, I'm going to be honest, I have Jimmy Graham. I haven't noticed anything crazy out of him, but on paper, he's still the best tight end, so I guess I got to go with him. Uh, I mean, again, maybe I'm not using him right. I've been trying to do some aggressive catching with him, some jump balls in the end zone. I, I mean, in always, always a mad, I've never really noticed Jimmy Graham's height too much in games anyways, but you still got to go with him. Best catching tight end with the speed and the route running. Now, I do wish that his medium route running was slightly better. But powered up and Kevin up, of course, he's going to get high catching. He's going to get an 85 speed. You really can't go wrong with Jimmy Graham. Super cool card art. And, of course, it's he's 6'7", which makes him a huge target now. I don't know if that helps in terms of jump balls as much as people think. I think it may help more. He does get special animations, but I think you get those animations after, like, 6'3", anyways. Or 6'5", maybe. But it could be more so, like, in the back of the end zone when you do high points. Like, when you run him over the middle on ends or something, you do that high point over the linebacker. The high point can go higher, in theory, which allows you to throw into, like, tighter windows. Like, when there's literally a defender here and the tight end's right here, you can't bullet past that. But if you high point it, the linebacker won't get it. I think it could help with stuff like that. Now, Lyman, I'm not going to go too in-depth on. Because, like, I always say with Lyman, the issue with Lyman is it comes down to what you want. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. They all play. This, they all play. The only difference is going to be... Oh, like Walter Jones can run block and pass block. Oh, Jason Kelsey can only run block. I don't run a lot. I only pass. So pretty much just go through as you feel with that. Go ahead. And I'm going to go through. I'm going to go through it, though, to show you. But at the end of the day, the way the way linemen work, it's very, it's very, it's very self-explanatory for the most part. Now, Walter Jones, of course, I think is the best left tackle in the game. Now, if you want to go ahead and pick someone else, I mean, you could go Joe Thomas. Joe Thomas is still a great, great option. And I believe he's at a pretty good price right now. Now, the only thing with Joe Thomas, of course, you have to power him up and everything uh, to get some of the stats you're going to need here. So he is only 97K, so that's, well, that's a great option. Power him up. That will get you the pass blocking thresholds. But you're going to fall short on the run blocking, which is what kind of sucks. At left tackle, yeah, most left tackle can pass block. Not all can run block. He's pretty good at it. But Walter Jones just a dual threshold kind of guy. I think you got to go Walter Jones' way, in my personal opinion. I just think that's the way to go. Um, the thing with Walter Jones, though, is he's 380k right now. I do get him for like 215. I don't know what the crazy price increase is about right now. If you have a Walter Jones, maybe you should sell him. If you bought him for cheap, you can make your coins. But if you need one, that's a tough one right now. Richie Incognito is a great option. He's going down in price, of course, as the price of training does keep dropping. He's going to get the run blocking thresholds. He won't get the pass blocking thresholds. But quite honestly, at left guard, I care more about the, the run blocking because that is who's going to lead the way for half like my dives, my zones. Uh, Richie Incognito is a great option. Super cheap. Now, coming over to center, we did just get some new, uh, a new center yesterday, which I think you gotta go. He's just far and away the best center. Now, Brandon Linder is a great backup option, so remember, if you can't afford the first option, go Brandon Linder. He's a great, great, great option. Now, we got Kevin Mawai here. Kevin Mawai just dropped his 365. He will come down more. He'll probably end up being like, well, this is the LTD, remember? So, if you don't want to get the LTD, you can get the cheaper one, which I'll show you guys that, actually, instead. Uh, you can power it up, but the LTD, it depends on the price discrepancy, if it's worth it. So for 70k, for 70k, honestly, you're probably better off buying the LTD because the LTD will hold some more value and you could always resell it and you don't have to power it up and do the training. And if you, let's say you power Kevin Mawai, right? And a new center comes out. A new center does come out and you power, you, you unpower down Kevin Mawai, you lost the training, you got to resell everything, you take the reduction. When you just buy the LTD, yeah, you're going to lose the reduction in the value as well, but maybe you only lose 70k on the resale or 50k versus losing the 50k also on the card and the training. So... Honestly, you might be better off taking the top tier one here. Now, Kevin Mawai, he's really, really good. Chemmed up and powered up. He's going to have all the run blocking thresholds, of course. All the pass blocking besides pass block power. But I think with zone run and powered up, he may just get it. He'll have the 90 strength. He's, again, he's like a Walter Jones. If you have him and Walter Jones on the line, you're going to be a great well-rounded line already. Now, all you need is like one more good, one more good lineman on there to really solidify that. Although... If you have incognito, you're going to fall a little short in the pass blocking there, which sucks. But again, I feel like if you have your left tackle center and right tackle short up on pass blocking, everything else is pretty much going to fall together. Now here at right guard, this one's tough because we have a bunch of right guards all in the same overall. Uh, Larry Allen obviously is the best one. Now, I want Zach Martin because 72k just kind of seemed like a steal. 
but with Larry Allen coming down in price, I mean, it's almost like an extra 60K here. So if you want to take the budgety option, you go, you go Zach Martin. But Larry Allen, again, going to be a great run blocker. Going to be a little, he's going to be, a, he's going to be well-rounded. But he's not going to be threshold in anything but run blocking. And maybe pass block power once again with the chemistry on him. Now with Larry Allen here, if you chem him up and power him up, you're going to get, you're going to get the run blocking stuff. But you're going to fall short on pass block, pass block finesse, and run block finesse. So, well-rounded. But again, if you want to just save the coins, you can always go Larry Allen. I mean, uh, Zach Martin, or you can go Kevin Zeitler, of course. I don't really like Kevin Zeitler. Jari Evans is really good. But right guard's kind of a throw up for the most part, depending on what you need. And then right tackle. Now, right tackle, of course, New Lane Johnson's great, which I really do like him because, of course, he's a little more athletic. I had him powered up already. But he, he's well-rounded. The issue with Lane Johnson cards is super well-rounded, so sometimes they fail to meet certain thresholds. So the thing with Lane here is I do show you guys, powered up all the way and chemmed up, he's going to get close to every threshold he's gonna fall one short of pass block power he's gonna fall two short of run block finesse run block power and run block one on run block but the thing is i think with zone run again if you have it up all the way he will get the run block run block power run block finesse probably up to a 90 which means you'll be a threshold run blocker and potentially a pass block power but his pass block's gonna fall a little bit short and he is a right tackle now i like him because he's well-rounded and he's athletic with that 83 acceleration and the 75 speed which really really helps with pulling and stuff so again he has a lot of uses which is why i rock with him but again he's well-rounded so but his next card but the thing is if his next card it won't come for a while but that's the thing with lane johnson cards his next card typically is just overpowered fast if you do it all now if you just want a guy who's guaranteed to be able to you know do a few things for you here like run block phil low holt's really good you all see phil low holt's almost identical though to lane johnson when you really look at it though very very similar in terms of how well-rounded they kind of are so I think it's a throw up there as well. That's why I probably should go for the cheaper option, which is why I'd rock with Lane Johnson. But guys, that pretty much does wrap up the video. We went through just about everything here. So sum it up real quick, quarterback, Vic and Lamar. Running back, of course, Barry, but I like Reggie Bush as well. Fullback, again, it doesn't really matter. I don't really see people even use him anymore. Do with that as you will. Wide receiver, Tyrone Calico. And then, like I said, it depends on how you play, but Tyree Kill could fill him in, or Reggie Wayne, or Vincent Jackson has a budget option. But there's plenty of good receivers. There's so many good ones, guys. Again, receiver is a tough one to take. Who's the top five? Because it really just depends on how you play. Uh, tight end, Jimmy Graham. Followed by, I mean, Jimmy Graham's the guy. But Tony Gonzalez isn't a, isn't a far behind option. And then at lineman, I went along those right now. So you guys should keep this fresh. But that's about it for the offense. I did like this a bit more. I was able to speak a little bit more per player. So if you guys do like this, let me know. I'll do the same thing for defense. And defense might be longer because it's like, I feel like there's more in defense here to go over. Because per, per position, I talk a lot more than I'll probably talk on offense. Because Lyman, there's less talking to do there. But that's it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, you want to join the Poodle Squad, like the video. Turn that on bell, boys. Comment down below, Poodle Squad. Of course, be subscribed. Thank you so much for watching. If you need coins to pick one of these players, my reserve down below. 15% off. Use code Poodle. Take advantage of discounted coins and all that. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.